Hey there, welcome to my tutorial on how to make cool vampire the masquerade style maps. So first of all you need to open Google Maps in a browser on a big enough screen so that you can take screenshots afterwards. In my example I used Vienna. So type in whatever city you want to make a map of. Uh, make sure that you're zoomed out far enough so that you can see the city outlines but not too close. And then make a screenshot. Open the screenshot in Photoshop. You will need to crop out all the elements that you don't need. Uh, Google Maps has a way of adding a lot of unnecessary stuff to your screen. Um, then you can also decide if you want to keep the Google logo in <coughs> the lower area or if you want to cut it out. You can remove it like I did. So I zoomed in selected the logo and sorry for the German interface but if you go to uh, content based filling you can like uh, fill over the screen but make sure to uh, command to use command E to uh, flatten your layers again so that it's just one layer then you go to uh, picture and invert Command I. You'll get a purplish color then, but now you'll add a color in red, a color layer, and set it its blend mode to tint. Just need to experiment a bit, but that's about the effect that I used. Um, then I also added a vignette. You can do that most easily with layer effects and just use uh, glow from uh, glow to with within and use a black color and multiply or normal uh, and once you're done with that you save it as a png or whatever um, there is another step we need to make because like the screenshot will be too small of a resolution to use it properly in foundry so the next step will be to use a free website called Big JPEG. And I made a small mistake there when I selected, uh, uh, you can just drag and drop the image here. And I made a small mistake because I selected uh, the, the bigger factor times four and that was like too big. Uh, times two should be perfectly fine for you. So you can select the size and how much you want to reduce the, how is it called, <laughs> noise. And big JPEG takes a lot of time. I didn't cut it out here because I need time to talk anyway. So um, my picture came out too big, way too big. So I had to put it back into Photoshop to size it down again. But if you use the correct times two multiplier, then that shouldn't be a problem and you can use it directly. Um, nevertheless, it doesn't hurt to look at your picture and see if the resolution is uh, good enough and clear enough. So I've added it to Photoshop again. And you can see I can zoom in pretty far and it looks still good, still looks good. It sho shows all the districts, the district names as well. And then I set the height to 2000 or something like that. And saved it again. And then I open Foundry. So I use the Forge, but obviously if you have Foundry on your own computer, you can use that as well. Um, log into your foundry and 
and create a new scene. In the first step you will probably only need to specify a name and the picture. It's a background image. You need to make sure that you take enough time to let it upload properly in case you use something like the forge. So I realized that I was using ha having the, the wrong picture here, so I needed to switch back to a different uh, download folder. So now we're waiting for the upload. And now that's done, we click Save Changes. It asks us if we want to reset the dimensions, and yes, we want to do that. Then we'll open it again and you see that it's not correctly set up because like it uses a grid and uh, uh, it uses lighting simulation which we also don't need so make sure to uncheck those <laughs> and then for ambience uh, there's a few things we can do afterwards uh, but first we'll uh, change the background image color to black since that was what we used for our for our vignette Then also zoom in to a proper size and click the crop icon so you can pre-select the size. Here in weather effects we use embers because it gives us a good effect. It looks like people walking on the map. And then I used a playlist called City that just uses cityscape sounds that you can also get on Foundry's modules. Uh, I think it's called Game Audio or something like that. Uh, it takes a bit of searching to do, but it's really worth it because like when you're on the screen it looks like and sounds like you're atop of the city. And then uh, there's something else you can do. You can use the tile tool to add uh, decors for the clans to like showcase where the primal gen sits or uh, where their power base is and uh, the images i got them i think i made them from wiki stuff that i exported and then recolored but i think you should be able to find them somewhere make sure that they are pngs so that they are like transparent and then you can like move them around and there's also like a second module with game icons that's also free and that also features white icons with transparent background that you can also use like there's a lot of skulls with crowns and stuff like that that could signify where the prince is sitting and uh, maybe you can add locations for your clubs and stuff like stuff like that so you see it's actually not that hard to set it up and it makes a lot of fun okay so thank you for joining me and hopefully it helps you a bit and if you have any questions drop me a comment and i'll help you <laughs>